What is he doing? This looks like the wedding at the end of Shrek. I just wanna break the rules. My Spy stars Dave Bautista, Kristen Schaal, Ken Jeong, and Chloe Coleman, and tells the story of a CIA agent that's tasked with uh, watching a family trying to figure out what they know in terms of this bad guy that wants to, like, you know, do destroy world business type things. But then the little girl the family finds out and starts blackmailing the CIA agent to, like, you know, be a friend, be a good dad, like, you know, like, trip some kids, and, like, you know, do other things um, to, like, help her. And then he grows close to her uh, and her mom, uh, become his close family unit. You've seen this story a million times before in many different scenarios, but honestly, I like this. Now, yes, do not get me wrong. This movie is predictable as hell. It brings no surprises to the game whatsoever. It's the same plot that you expect it to be. Like, you know, like he's undercover. Someone finds out. He, like, you know, gets close to her, the family, blah, blah, blah. Falls in love with the mom, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, gets in danger, blah, 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 blah. It's B for B what you would expect this story to be. But honestly... What made this fun to watch and honestly enjoyable was uh, Dave Bautista's performance um, as well as um, Chloe Coleman's, uh, who plays the daughter, um, and, like the kind of like bond and relationship that they have in the film. Like, it's nice. I like it. It's it's charming. Dave Bautista is funny. Um, he's a funny guy. Um, and the two of them have really great chemistry, honestly. And which is like I expected it to be fine, but honestly, like they both give good performances enough that it was a fun time to watch. Would I definitely say like it's a great movie? No, it's not. But yeah, the the biggest detriment to the movie is just you know exactly what it's going to do. Like there it brings no surprises to the table. Like there might be there's like a twist in it, but it's like so minute it's never teased or anything. That's just like okay, if you had teased it more it could have been funnier, but like eh and just that's just what the whole plot itself is just like, I know where it's going, but eh. I can say, though, that this is actually pretty funny. Um, there's a lot of uh, really good jokes in here, and while the advertising makes it seem like it's a kid's movie, it's like how Kindergarten Cop is a kid's movie. Not really a kid's movie, but if your kids watch it, nothing bad's gonna happen to them. It's just, like, you know, some violence here and there, and then re what really gets it the PG-13 rating is just the language that's in it. No F-bombs or anything, but just, like, you know, it's the Marvel, like, you know, level of language used, pretty much. So, like, expect that. If your kids go see that, then they can watch My Spy. It's not gonna hurt them at all. I would talk about the villain of the movie, but the villain <laughs> appears maybe in like two scenes. No build up to what his character is like besides that he's related to the family and that's all we need to know and he wants to destroy the world. So we got a villain, but like I expected the villain to be nothing. The villain was nothing, so I really wasn't disappointed, but like why Ugh. if the whole plot of it revolves around like, you know, watching the family figure out what they know about, it, why not make the like, you know, villain more interesting to watch like make them more fun to watch like go crazy with their performance give them something insane to do but like here it's just boring generic bad guy like that's essentially all it is so it's and like the plot like forgets about <laughs> that whole like you know you know destroy the world could be destroyed kind of business that's happening like for 80 percent of the movie in the beginning it's there gone for like you know over two quarters of the movie then shows up at the end, and it's like, oh, right, I forgot, this is a spy movie, we gotta put that in there, so it's just like, why? Why would you, how would you forget that? I don't, I, I don't get it, but they did, but it happened. I don't know. I feel like, though, with the supporting cast, they, they weren't used to their, like, advantage. Like, Kristen Schaal and Ken Jeong are both hilarious actors, and they are incredibly talented with comedy, but here... They're really not given anything. Kristen Schaal has, like, you know, more screen time than Ken Jeong. Um, and she has some funny one-liners. But, again, like, her character really doesn't have much of anything. And she's not a main presence, despite being Dave Bautista's partner in the movie. So, I don't know, it was weird. And then, like, you have Ken Jeong, who is freaking hilarious. But, like, he's in maybe four or five scenes in the movie. He's the head of the CIA. But, like, he really has nothing funny to say or do, which is a shame. Like, and that's just with so much of the supporting cast, because most of the comedy is rooted in Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman's characters, just, like, you know, their interactions and whatnot. Like, you know, he's a big, buff, like, you know, CIA dude. She's, like, you know, this small nine-year-old child that can, like, you know, outsmart him, outwit, outwit him and whatnot. So, like, that's funny there. But I feel like the supporting cast needed more to do, and they just weren't given more to do, which is a shame. Overall, there's really not much I can really say about My Spy, and it's pretty much just because of how predictable and cliche it is like the plot 
exact goes exactly the way that you expect it but what really holds it up and makes it a fun and enjoyable watch is uh dave bautista and chloe coleman's characters their interactions blah blah blah, all that stuff it's fun to watch they're funny um and they really helped hold the film together because i think that i don't if it wasn't them casted or if it was like you know someone else as either like you know dave bautista's or chloe coleman's characters that i feel like that the film wouldn't have been as strong but they both have great comedic timing the writing for them is decently funny um, and like, if you watch this with your kids, they'll have a fun time. You'll have a fun time, but it's not going to be a film that you're going to remember anytime soon. I doubt I'll remember it anytime soon, but I mean, this film has been delayed multiple times. It was originally supposed to come out like summer 2019, got pushed back to like spring of this year, but then the virus happened. So then like, they didn't know how they were going to release it. Then Amazon bought it. Now it's on Amazon. So yeah, that's how I watched it because I saw it was on Amazon. It's like, oh yeah, that's a thing. And yeah, it's fine. I'm going to give My Spy a 6 out of 10. It could have been a 5 out of 10 very easily, but again, it's just because of the main character's, like, you know, chemistry and interactions. That really held it up and made it a fun watch, honestly. But again, there's really not much I can say about it. I know this is a short review, but I mean, there's not much to say. So that was my review of My Spy. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below, what you think of other Dave Bautista movies, um, other comedies. Uh, make sure that you check out everything else I've done, my movie reviews, uh, game let's plays, all the other cool stuff I've done, and I will see you all next time.